They disgust me. Everything else is good, though. I'm looking through it now. I ain't got to the bottom. Yeah. Who is that? For I seen I seen the email. I don't like to see one die fast. Yeah. But um uh, alright, I'm looking through it. Alright. Alright, so Polos. Polo. Polo. Uh, T shirts. Lena, yeah, it's like a Forty dollar V nut, them Isaiah Jones, Polo T, 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 Polo T. It's like when I get on my, you know how I be doing it. You have to see it on, though, you know. Um, what else I got? Let's see, let's see. Dang. It's a lot of clothes, y'all. Polo. Polo must have had a sale, shop. Polo. So now what I got to do is I got to have Bugs or Bobby. They're going to send back all the stuff that I've already worn. If you if you just tuning in, like I said, I ain't. I haven't been home in two weeks. Hotel to hotel, suitcase living. Chucks. I like Chuck Taylor. These the leather jones. Somebody said Polo had a sale for Father's Day. See, I got money, but I ain't stupid, y'all. Ha ha. It's a whole bunch of jeans and socks and slacks. These like some nice look shorts. Oh. So I figure out what I'm wearing tonight. Tomorrow in New York, it's an all white party. But I probably wear all black. <laughs> My fans are wild. I'm gonna be tonight. Can I sing famous? Baby, I need to come holler at me. Trey, your cue gotta be different. Trey, say hi to Brad and John at the white party. Founders of Ustream. The founders of Ustream will be at the white party. Wow. I might Ustream from the party. <laughs> I need to get that. Uh, I still ain't had time to even go get the iPhone. Like I could send somebody to do it, but I like doing regular stuff, like going to get my own phone and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes when you can have people do things for you, it, it, it kind of cripples you and you want to do a lot of that stuff yourself.
She said, it's John Q. I remember we used to trip when you came to NCCU with Red. Yeah, that's my brother. You know what it is. Do I like girls with tattoos? Yes. I like I like women uh I think uh I like women also that don't have any tattoos. I think if at a certain point in your life, like I met this girl the other day, she was like twenty five or something and she was thinking about getting a tattoo. And at that point I was like, Why? Because your body is pure at that point. It's like why even you know, I think tattoos are something you do when when you you not necessarily you have to be young to do it, but I think it's something that you do at a younger age. When you get to a certain age, it's like, damn, you missed your time to do it. I feel like, anyway. Ask me some more questions. I want to know what y'all want to talk about. Infidelity is mad hot. Thank you. Infidelity is a real song. You got to you got to understand that to go through it. Do I still represent Petersburg, Virginia? What type of question is that? I'm from Petersburg. I am Petersburg. Of course. Have I ever thought about actually doing a song with Tyrese and Johnny Gill? No. I never even thought I would be performing with them alongside them on a BET stage. So that that was something that never was a realization. Did I see your response about your side of the bed sounding like Purple Rain? No, I didn't see your particular response, but I think it's obvious that it sounds like Purple Rain. I think uh, a lot of people saw that. A lot of people heard that. Am I actually in a relationship with Drew Sidora? No, I'm not. Do I hate R. Kelly? No, I love R. Kelly. Actually. Am I going to start acting? Yes, I, I, I look forward to acting somewhere in the near future. I think uh, when it comes to acting, I want to make sure that my musical ground is set. I want to make sure that I'm, I'm in a place where... Uh, my musical world is stable before I step on to anything else because a lot of people move on to that world without having established their ground, you know? What else? What else? What's going to be my next single? It's a toss-up between a few records. What age do I feel is right for marriage? I feel like marriage is something you, you really... You can't put an age on, but I think it takes a, a certain sense of maturity and a certain sense of uh, a certain sense of uh, companionship and and real love with that other person. Like you know, because marriage is is like somebody said on here, it's a seventy five percent divorce rate. I don't know anybody that's been married and, and hasn't gotten a divorce, and that's sad. How many kids do I want? I want hella kids. I love kids. I can't wait to have kids. I mean, I can't wait because I got to wait, but you know. <laughs> All right, y'all going to pick my shirt for tonight. Let's see. And this this depends, too, because I ain't, I ain't looking to see what shoes I got. So y'all going to pick a few. Should I wear linen? First off, should I wear linen or should linen long sleeve or should I wear polo short sleeve? Linen long sleeve, polo short sleeve. Answer please. All right, polo one. Polo one off top. Okay, so let's look through these polos. Let me line them up. Let me line them up. Uh I got this tan polo bong. I got this. And these these are Lacoste, formerly known as Azot. But uh out of these right here. Can y'all see all of them? 
No, hold on. Hold on now. This is the tan one. This is the green one. A red eyes eye. This is like purplish, tannish, whatever the fuck. And it's and that's gray. Okay, the red is clearly winning with the green coming second. But I wear red like all the time. For sure. I probably wear the red just because y'all said so. And for some, somebody said, what the fuck? is not Azar, it's Lacoste. It was Azar before it was Lacoste. In the 80s, baby. And in the 90s. Y'all sure I shouldn't wear this green shirt, man. Bang! Y'all never see me wear the green. Come on. What you mean? Shout it. What you mean? You love the green? Y'all just gonna say whatever I say. <laughs> the red. The red. What about this? I like this little color. The red shot. Alright. So the red wins. And uh I probably throw some black shorts on and throw on my red and white Adidas. Boom. Crispy. Adidas is classic. You dig? Y'all like these shoes? Get the hell out of my account. This ain't about you. <laughs> you dig it? Bang! Bang! If you dig it, say bang! My fans picking my outfits out, Bugs. What you know about that? Bang, bang, bang. Somebody put boink. Who put boink? <laughs> Bonk! <laughs> Let's see, let's see. Okay, so that's the fit for the night. And I'm a twit. Pick my outfit out. <laughs> and I'm a twit pick that. I'm a twit pick that so y'all can see what it look like, you dig? Do I like strip clubs? Yes, I do. He gave me the super thin sideburn. Yeah, I like that shit. You like that shit? I need mine to be a little thicker. This side bigger than this side. It look good though. He a pro. What do I think about working with new producers? I think that uh, I work with anyone that's talented and, and, and takes their profession seriously and, and hones their craft and, you know, works hard. What's my favorite color? Red. What do you think about Chris Brown? I love Chris Brown as as a friend. You know, everybody makes mistakes, and I think that uh, everybody should be given uh, forgiveness for their mistakes if if they truly are sorry. If I feel like if God can forgive us for all the evil shit we do and all the things that we do that make no sense, I think man should be forgiven. He's only a human being, and he's very young, you know. Paul, stop. Hey, stop for a second. Whoa. 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 <laughs> If only y'all knew how goofy I was, y'all probably wouldn't think I would say. Y'all want to listen to this, man? I want y'all to hear this. Y'all know the puppet commercials, right? Y'all know I'm crazy about the puppet commercials, right? Right? <laughs> 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 
Listen, man. I want y'all to listen to this. Watch. This is the public. If y'all been on my, my blog site, y'all seen this before. But this shit's so funny, man. <laughs> this is the remix to the puppet when uh Desmond come over the house. If y'all could see it, it's funny. But y'all could hear it, so it's funny, too. Listen. This the remix, baby. I told you I was going to watch him. Didn't I? Bitch. Who was that, my nigga? Oh, that wasn't nobody but my mama. She said I got to watch my nephew. Oh, shit. What up, Frizz? Been a long time. LeBron, you the best I ever seen. Kobe, what happened in Colorado? Did you rape that girl? Why'd you do that? I saw a picture of her. She was wild. LeBron, can you believe Kim let Ray J be? Kobe, how much you pay her to drop the charge? I mean, you are for good. Why'd you snitch on Shaq? Where I come from, stitches get stitches. Damn, y'all got a fool with no chicks? Damn, Kobe, is you looking at my dick? LeBron, did you going to the Knicks yeah. next year? Yeah. Where'd JC at? Get Beyonce over here. Eh, choo! My bad, yo. Kobe, why was he messing with Ron Artest? You know he would've fucked you up. LeBron, you think Mike Brown's a good coach? Can you believe that Reggie Bush was? Thank you. guys have a shower with John and me, too? Kobe, you smoke weed with Phil? LeBron, you think you're better than Jordan? Damn, Kobe! Kobe stop, stop looking, looking at, at my dick! dick. <laughs> this has been a Jersey Chaser downtown <laughs> production. You know me! Yo, y'all need to go look at that right now, y'all. On seefurtherthanim.com. This shit is the funniest shit I ever seen, man. Why are you fucking with Ryan Artest? You know he would have fucked you up. What's Gates up, dog? Man, get from us. What is that? Gates. Get it from us, man. Yeah. Look, this is how you do it. If you want to get Trey Songz in your city, you got to do this shit proper life. Say what's up. To the people that's bringing me here tonight. What's up with it? JoeyCuts.com, man. Yeah. We're here. See, they done brought a nigga some pack. I know I told y'all what that that's is. Gates. That's Gates, man. That's Gates. You see, explain to them what's, what's inside of there. That's yeah, a nice We got a nice little slab, some beef, some little ham, turkey. You know, yeah. nice little party tray. <laughs> yeah. You see, look, they gave me a bag full of fruit and shit, tea and shit. Now, let me see. I know y'all niggas ain't never seen a Patron bottle this big. <laughs> oh, look at that shit. Look at that Remy. Look at that. Look at that. That's how you do it. You want your boy to come to your town. You tell whoever bringing your boy to do it like this. Yeah, he niggas come on. Cut so, your let, head. So, let, so let me hold this for you. Yeah. So so who did it for you like that? You already. <laughs> what? Well, I'm gonna show him right here. That guy. Don't forget about your man, Corporate Hustle, man. Corporate Hustle in the Dude building. Dot you know com, I mean? Corporate Hustle. They got the slabs right here. This a whole meat entree. Pause. You got. You got. Uh. You got. Look like some short ribs in here. Mm -hmm. We got. Uh, they got some gates. They got some sauce. Take what? That's what you take out. Yeah. So you know. They got the, they bought some bread for your boy. I ain't even got to go get nothing to eat. So, you know, they doing it proper. I'm finna get ready for the show. So, they just came through and, and, and treated your boy. See, this is how I like professionalism, ladies and gentlemen. Professionalism. Yeah, man, it's going to be a beautiful night. <clears throat> yeah, I ain't got to fight these niggas at the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> That's not great. Yeah, great. Y'all see that bottle of Patron, man? Okay. I can't do nothing with all that Patron shit. Hopefully I'll see you out on that uh on that Jamie. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we will. I'll be out make... there doing merchandise. Oh, you gonna be doing the merch for that tour? Yeah, yeah we talked about it. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can make it happen, man. That'd, that'd be, be a hell of a situation. Yeah, that'd be a great situation. All right, man. No doubt. Appreciate it. And for the ladies, if y'all wanna be the lady in my life, see look. This is how you gotta fold my shirts. <laughs> see? Like they do in the stores. Yeah, you know about the, uh, the whole food like thing. Yeah, the cake. Cake coming out at the end of the show. Look at that. Gotta have that bag right. Bang! Bang! Oh shit, I messed up. Hold on. <laughs> you said fold my own, baby. I ain't got time to do that. So they gotta fold it like that. I ain't got time to fold my own clothes. And that's a true statement. That ain't even a lie. A lot of people say they don't have time to do certain stuff, but I don't have time to do certain stuff. What up, Honey B? Shout out to Honey B. Which one, man? Honey B. She on there somewhere. What attracts me to a woman? Physically, uh, I love a beautiful face before I before I see. 
Before I see anything else, that's what I see. Uh, I love bodies. I like small waists and fat asses. I don't have to have a, a fat ass. But, <coughs> but I, I do like that. But I like beautiful smiles and pretty faces. What do I feel about Ron Artest and the Ariza trade? I feel like Ron Artest is going to be a good situation over there. I think uh, Ariza had a chance. He should have been able to, he should have been allowed more time to grow over there. But I feel like Ron Artest is going to be like Kobe's Dennis Rodman. Rest in peace to Fletch. What's my favorite uh, Michael Jackson song? I don't think it's right to even ask nobody that because Michael Jackson got so many hits. What do I think about Vibe Magazine folding? I think that's a, a major blow to black press, you know. Vibe Magazine was the first magazine I ever got. Uh, my mama got that when I was like 11 years old. She got it, me a, a subscription. And they would come to the house every like Tuesday or something. So uh, I think that's a major blow. But the internet's taking over press anyway. So I think they'll, they'll maintain, hopefully they'll maintain a, a internet presence. I'm not all the way, I don't all the way know what's going on on that situation. Uh, am I a Maxwell fan? Yes, I am. I got all Maxwell albums and uh, what you call it, the new albums coming out in three days. So y'all be sure to get that. Would I date a regular woman? I mean, I don't, I don't know the future, but I have dated a regular woman before, so I don't see why I wouldn't. The only thing about when you're in this business, it, it's really not transparent. So you don't, like, you streaming things like this allow y'all to see what goes on on the other side. It, like, uh, Twitter allows y'all to see how hard we actually work outside of enjoying our lives. Uh, but the thing about entertainers dealing with entertainers, I think, is because of the understanding. It's because they go through the same thing and they know what it is. What are my thoughts on marijuana? I used to smoke. Uh, I think to each his own, you know. I don't judge people for doing what they do. Would I leave a girl alone if I feel I would hurt her? You should listen to anticipation. Infidelity uh, describes that. Do you sing while having sex? No. <laughs> when I have sex, I'm very focused on sex. What about dating an independent, educated woman that has her own? I think that's evident that I would do that. Do you like the Drake video? I think Drake's video is fucking hilarious. <laughs> uh, me and him actually had a conversation on the shoot that, uh, you know, he would get a lot of flack for that. You know, but uh, who would turn down a Kanye West directed video at the beginning of your career? I think you you uh, you got to take the good with the bad. And uh, it's definitely, whether, whether people enjoy it or not, people are, MTV is still showing the video like it's... Uh, like it's part of the Michael Jackson tribute. Video should have been called Breast I Ever Had. <laughs> do I ever get lonely? Yes, I do. Ooh, you see that bank shot, nigga? Yeah, you ain't bet no money on it. You can bet some money on something, nigga. What's up? It's all on you. 
What's up? Let me tell y'all this story, right? Y'all know Bugs, my homeboy, right? That be with me or what? I don't call him my security because, like, we've been friends for, for years now, right? So check it. When we go places and we be backstage at the shows, it be like, uh, it be fruit and stuff and we be bored. So, like, say if that little that little tray that they just bought in, if that was at the stage at the show or something, if we bored and we already ate and we ain't tripping on the food, We'll stand like all the way across the room and it'd be a little small trash can. We'll bet money on it. So I owe this nigga like two thousand dollars. <laughs> Cause I be missing like shit, man. <laughs> I should date Megan Fox. Megan Fox is is gorgeous. Do I want to do a song with Beyonce or Sierra in the future? Yes. I would love to do a song with Beyonce or Sierra. Beyonce coming first. I should date Whitley. <laughs> Whitley don't Whitley ain't Whitley no more. Jasmine got. Kelly Rowland loves me. Kelly, hold up. Kelly Rowland loves you. She tweeted about you. Will you work with her? No, uh She ain't tweet about me. Um, do I have a dog? Yes, I have. Uh, I have four dogs. But my brother watching. Shout out to Finchy, baby. Is Sea Breeze on my album? Uh, at this point, no. But we've uh, we've been working together. We did some we did some music together. When's the last time I checked my say now? Say now, actually, they changed their website, so I'm trying to get used to it. I used to leave a lot of messages from my computer, but it's not, I don't have the ability to do that anymore, so it's harder to leave messages. But stay tuned, I'm going to get my phone back and I'm going to start leaving them from the phone. Stop hitting me up. To answer Miss Kia Honey, you actually seem humble. A lot of times you come off cocky as hell. I don't understand that. When you say things, you should make sure you make sense when you say things. That's probably when I come off cocky when I say things like that, huh? <laughs> Shout out to Virgo Exclusive who says a lot of y'all asking dumbass questions. DJ Crook, what's up, DJ Crook? What you call it? What you call it? No, she said, how are, the, some of the, how are the questions dumb if we want to know? There is a such thing as a dumb question. There's a such thing as a, a dumb question if you asked it already and there's, it's already been answered. There's a such thing as a dumb question if it is it, something that you can find out on your own if you're a real fan. She said, sing something to get your voice ready for the night. I, I usually don't do warm-ups. Who's the baddest chick in the game right now? Is Rihanna. I think it has been for a while. Who is my vocal coach? I don't have a vocal coach.
if you say Rihanna's not the hottest chick in the game, it's you must you gotta have a reason. Cause she's the youngest, freshest, most uh, renowned. She's uh, Beyonce is hotter. Yes, Beyonce is evidently is always the number one chick in the game. But if you think about the how fast Rihanna has even evolved to be at the status that she's at, how many number one hits she's had, how many tours she's been on, how many uh, sponsorships she's gotten, you can you cannot hate on that. You cannot say that she's not the hottest chick in the game right now. Carrie's great. Carrie's doing great, but I, I don't think she's the hottest chick in the game right now. She's dope as shit. And she will be. And Carrie sings better than Rihanna. <laughs> she said, if you like a pretty face and a donkey, look at my Twitter page. <laughs> It's 1,184 people in here. That's my birthday. Month and year. What do I think about Nicki Minaj? I like her. I think she's very talented. I think she can rap. Would I ever get a personal assistant? I have a personal assistant already. When will I be back in LA? I'm not sure. How much do I weigh? I weigh 173. I'm not a Scorpio. <laughs> I'm a Sag. Yes, I will be at the car and bike show in Atlanta. Somebody asked me to sing a Michael Jackson song. I'm gonna sing a Michael Jackson song before I go take this shower because I gotta I gotta get ready for this show. So let me think. What song should I sing? Who do I feel is my biggest competition? Hmm. I'm kind of, I think of a game like this. I. If you ever seen a horse race, they got blinders on like this. So they can focus on their lane. They can focus on their race. I'm a horse in this game, a stallion, and any nigga in any other lane ain't in my view unless they pass me. So unless they pass me, I can't see them. So I'm a haul ass. You dig? Somebody said my biggest competition is Drake. I think not. Me and Drake are in alliance, so that that can't be a competition if we work together. We we got hella songs together. That that doesn't make sense. Did I read the interview Mario gave to wherever? What whatever that was. Yes, I I read that interview. I I felt no way about it. Mario know what it is with me. Just like all these other niggas.
Okay, so I'm gonna sing this Michael Jackson song. I ain't gonna sing the whole thing. I'm just gonna sing a little bit of it before I get to this uh before I go take the shower. Who said that? What they say? Hold on. Who do I feel is the most influential artist dead or alive? That's obviously Michael Jackson. I, I feel anyway. I feel like Michael Jackson has crossed barriers that no artist could ever cross. Uh, he by he was the first first artist to ever be played on black artists to be played on uh, MTV. You know. Uh, he his work ethic work ethic excuse me was crazy. I feel like he the dopest like you know from entertaining on the stage, dancing to to singing to the different styles of song he would do. You know like MJ is the biggest star ever, ever, ever. Like nobody could surpass him. So, I'm going to sing, girl, close your eyes, let the rhythm get into you, don't try to fight it, there ain't nothing that you can do, relax your mind. Lay back and groove with mine. You gotta feel that heat. And I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna stop right there. <laughs> I'm gonna just stay right there. They just they just hit me up and told me I'm hosting this. This between us too, though. This between us. They just told me that I'm hosting this, uh, co-hosting this BET Michael Jackson special. So I probably sing a little bit on there. And I, I don't know who I'm hosting it with, but. Uh, I'll be doing that, and I'm excited about that. What y'all know about that rock with you? Out on the floor, there ain't nobody there but us. Go, when you dance, there's a magic that must be love. Just take it slow. We got so far to go when you feel the heat And we go at the boogie Share that beat of love I don't know about that <laughs> Big shout to Mike, man All night Dancing way to go Sunlight, rock with you, yeah, yeah, all night. Rock the night away, and when the group is dead and gone, yeah, you know that love survives. Mike was the shit, man. For sure, y'all. I'm finna hop in the shower. I've been on here for almost two hours just to show y'all how much I love y'all. You know? Y'all love me? Believe it. Type in your Twitter right now. Trey Songs is the shit. But don't do it if you don't believe it, babe.
Type it right now. Trey Songs is the shit. And if you don't curse, say Trey Songs the ish. <laughs> Somebody just spelled my name with an S. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. You must be a new fan. Don't do it. Don't do it. I love y'all. I'm a twit pick that outfit. Believe that. Yeah!